verse 39, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, قُلْ إِنَّ رَبِّي يَبْسُطُ الرِّزْقَ لِمَنْ يَشَاءُ مِنْ عِبَادِهِ وَيَقْدِرُ لَهِ وَمَا أَنْفَقْتُمْ مِنْ شَيْءٍ فَهُوَ يُخْلِفُهُ وَهُوَ خَيْرُ الرَّازِقِينَ Say, O Prophet, surely it is my Lord who gives abundant and limited provisions, the rizq, to whoever he wills of his servants. And whatever you spend in charity, he will compensate you for it, for he is the best provider. Rizq is not the money that we have in the bank. Rizq is the wealth which we live with it and we enjoy. This is rizq. Our knowledge is rizq. Our children, our happiness, our coming to masjid, all of them they are rizq. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, your rizq is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It can be your wealth, it can be your position, anything is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you want rizq, you should communicate to Allah, not to weak people. Don't think that people can help you. Sometimes we earn money from one hand and then we should give it from another hand. This is not risk. When you really believe that your risk is from Allah, then you do for the sake of Allah. You give for the sake of Allah. You spend for the sake of Allah. It's easy for you to do infaq. You should try, you should work, but at the end you should believe that your risk is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the reason Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu, amanu. Or you who believe, believe. You say you are a believer, you come to masjid, but at the same time you don't believe. You lie easily. I told you there is a danger. With one lie, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't send us to Jahannam, to hell. Allah says, Kullu nafsin bima kasaba rahim. When it is your cast, when it is your habit. Sometimes lying is habit. Some people lie easily. This is the danger. This habit, this cast, if you yourself clean it, okay, you can go to Jannah. If not, Allah will clean it in Jahannam. So Jahannam is the blessing of Allah. Jahannam is the way for some people to go to, to Jannah. You didn't clean yourself. You are full of hasad, full of jealousy, full of hatred. Jannah is Jannah because people of Jannah, they are pure. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, you as a servant has a duty, and me as your Lord has a duty. What is your duty? To worship me, to obey me as your Lord. I created you just to worship, to obey. What is my duty? To provide you, to give your rest. And I will do my duty for sure. The problem is that you want to do my duty. You will stop obeying, you will stop worshiping, and you think about risk. If you want to do my duty, then I say, okay, you can do it. I don't care about your risk. If you do your duty, that is obeying, that is worshiping, I will do my duty and you will enjoy. You will have a, have a happy life. You will be successful. This is